everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Base Driver Updates. We had three drivers in action over the weekend, so let's get right to those results. Anthony Alfredo was back at Daytona International Speedway for the second time in seven days. This time the NASCAR Series rookie took to the road course for the very first time and this was one of those races with no practice and no qualifying. Anthony started 31st and finished 22nd on the lead lap in his number 38 front row motorsports Pete Store Ford. Let's get a post-race update directly from the driver. Well everyone, completed my first NASCAR Cup Series race today here at the Daytona Road Course. Obviously the Daytona 500 ended early for us, but today we came home 22nd. Unfortunately we had a left front tire uh, go down on us and we had to come pit. Ended up going a lap down to repair the damage and clear the fender. Uh, fought hard, got the lucky dog, not until the very end. And then with 10 to go, we were able to go to battle. And when they had wrecked in one and two, we kind of got shoved into it, got some more nose damage. But uh, fortunately it didn't affect the engine or the temperatures or anything like that. So we were able to fight hard and salvage what we could out of the day. Could Definitely could have been better, but uh, the Pete Store Ford Mustang was solid and the guys did an awesome job. I learned a lot. I feel really great physically and mentally. I've been training really hard for this. So that, uh, that gave me some confidence as well going to the rest of the year. But very thankful for this opportunity. Everyone at Front Row Motorsports, Team Dillon Management, of course, the Sauce Mafia. I appreciate everyone's support. Hope you enjoyed the race today. See you next week. Thanks, Anthony. Now, in my opinion, NASCAR needs to come up with some type of short practice session for all of the rookie drivers visiting a track for the very first time. Up next for Anthony, Homestead Miami Speedway this Saturday. And you can catch all of that action live at 3.30 Eastern Time on Fox. We continue road racing with Connor Mozak, who was competing in round one of the Pirelli Trans Am TA2 Series at Sebring International for Scott Legacy's Team SLR. Connor was P4 and P3 in practice sessions and took the green flag on Sunday from the sixth starting position. Connor fell back at the start of the race, but by lap six, he was running in fourth and remained there until a right rear tire blew out, sending him into the tire berries with only four laps remaining in the race. The Nick Taylor Chevrolet suffered major damage ending his race in 17th. Up next for Connor, Trans Am TA2 at Charlotte Motor Speedway on March 20th and 21st. We now move to quarter midgets and Carter Whalen, who returned to the Peach State Winter Series in Georgia, competing at both Lanier Raceplex in Brazelton, Georgia on Saturday, where he finished first in Heavy 160 and second in Heavy Honda. Then on to Bill Thomas Raceway in Cumming, Georgia on Sunday, where he finished second in Heavy Honda and won the Heavy 160 class. Now Carter captured the six race series championship in both Heavy Honda and Heavy 160. Carter racked up four wins and two seconds in Heavy Honda and swept the 160 class with six wins. That's 10 wins in 12 starts over three weekend series. A great start to his season. Up next for Carter, the Dixie Shootout Regional Series starting this weekend at New Smyrna Speedway. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Bryce Bizanson, who will be competing in the Chili Willy at Tucson Speedway in the Super Late Model. Joey East will be at Five Flag Speedway in Pensacola, Florida for the Arkham Menard Series East Race on Saturday and Jesse Love and Gavin Graham will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway for round three of the INEX US Legend Car Winter Heat. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up on raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in peril from your favorite Race Face Driver. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face driver. So go out there, have a great race week. 
I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.